Hello and welcome to GeForce. I'm Julian. This is Rich Ferrodi here to talk about Darksiders 3. What's coming to this new installment in your series? The thing that's really cool about Darksiders uh, as a franchise is every game you get a new antagonist, a new protagonist, a new world, and a new story. Mm -hmm. This is no different. So we are actually playing this time as Fury, one of the four horsemen, or I guess she's a horsewoman of the apocalypse. And she, of course, has been in the lore, but now what is Fury's quest in Darksiders 3? So if you remember in the first game, War was being imprisoned for starting the apocalypse early. Right? Yeah, that's a big no-no. Right? He yeah. got nailed for it. Yeah. And so the Chart Council basically summons Fury and they say, hey, the seven deadly sins have escaped. You need to put them back in the box. The Child Council is always trying to create a balance, and these guys are causing an imbalance. So you guys have had a ton of different elements in all your games. You've had the combat, the hack and slash, you've got the puzzles. Are all those things making an appearance again in Darksiders 3? If they didn't, it wouldn't be a Darksiders game. This is Darksiders DNA through and through. The exception is we've tried to build our world in a different way. In the first games, you loaded into a map, you got to the exit, and you loaded another map. In this case, we built the entire world. And what that means is we have honest geometry. If you take an elevator down 500 feet, that space that you've created, the next thing that fits in there has to be able to fit. And what that does is that opens up the player windows of opportunity. So they can look in there and they can say, oh, I bet you I can get down there later. Or if they come back into a room, they can go, oh, yeah, I was there like six hours ago. This is how they connect. Well, let me open that backtrack. Oh, I can go right through now. As far as puzzle design, if you remember all the Rube Goldberg uh, puzzles that we had in the other games, you pull a lever yeah. and a ball moves. We've really tried to class it up a bit. We try to contextualize stuff. So if you run into any kind of machines in the game, it's because those machines make sense in the world. And also, loot was a big part of the Darksiders DNA as well. I'm assuming this is another big loot-filled adventure too, right? It's much more subdued. In fact, Fury doesn't even pick up additional weapons in the game just off the ground. She receives something that's called a Hollows. There's four of them in the game, and it's basically just a big collection of gameplay. It's just a happy box of goodies. So you get a new weapon, you get a new passive magic ability, a new traversal ability, and a new way to solve a puzzle in the game. And mixing and matching between those is basically the standard gameplay in the game. So the last Darksiders came out in 2012. What have you learned and implemented in that intervening time? Starting a project like this that has existing fan base and there's expectations, you have to serve the audience. We took a long, hard look at the franchise and we said, what does Darksiders look like in 2018? We looked at puzzles, we looked at world. What are things that we didn't get to do in the other games that are in the original notebooks, the original product design for Darksiders 1 and Darksiders 2? And I think we're making a video game. It's not an interactive movie. It's very quick response animations and and quick gameplay, and it's a video game first. Cool. If you guys are fans of the Darksiders series, or maybe you're learning about it now and you want to jump in and play as Fury, check it out coming out in November. Rich, thank you so much for talking hey, to us thank today. thank you. You guys, thank you for watching here on GeForce. Be sure to tune in to all our coverage from Gamescom, and we'll have 10 RTX 2080 Ti's to give away to 10 lucky winners who subscribe, leave comments on our videos. Check it out, and I'll see you next time on GeForce.